the fresh food company, the dining hall where students who are living on campus come to eat. Behind me, resident students are grabbing their breakfast before their early morning classes, but for those with dietary restrictions, it can be a bit more complicated than grabbing a breakfast sandwich on the go. Lactose-free, gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan. The list goes on. Transitioning into university is hard enough, but with a strict diet, it can make eating away from home that much harder. The Fresh Food Company launched the Dietary Restrictions Program back in September 2015. The program provides labels on the menu boards showing which options are vegan, vegetarian, halal, and gluten-free. Currently, the dining hall has a vegan station and a gluten-free pantry, but some resident students are saying it is not enough. One of those students is Carlina Coot. She went vegetarian a year and a half ago for health reasons. She says the dining hall needs a better variety of food choices and clearer labeling. I've experienced some mistakes in the menu before um, where I've had found like chicken bones or there's been chicken in something that's supposed to be like vegetarian and things like that. Jane Skipinker, the university's registered dietitian, says dining services is prepared to work with students to better improve current food options. We're always looking to kind of diversify the menu. We hear a lot of great feedback from the students and always looking to make that better. Um, the most valuable thing that we get is feedback from the students, whether it's good and bad. The Carleton University Dining Services say they have big changes coming up for January. For one, they are adjusting a portion of the year-long menu at the dining hall, as well as adding a calorie count to each of their meals. That means for some students with special diets, they have something sweet to look forward to in the new year. Noah? 